So you made it to the final video of why solitude is the hardest thing to master in life. You've made it to part one, two, three, four, five, six, and now you made it to seven. Congratulations. Give yourself a pat on the back and you made it so far. Oh gosh, I sound like a Skillshare instructor. Well, <laughs> I got some good news for you. It's close enough to Skillshare. And yeah, I talked about Skillshare not too long ago, but it's been deleted. But I'll bring it back on the self-education video at some point pretty soon. But that's for another time. We're focused on solitude right now. But I do think they have a lot in common. Don't you think? <sighs> yeah. That's what I thought too. Not very much. Let's get to the first point on why it is, why it really, really is harder to master solitude. I know there's a lot of points in there and we have like seven parts to go through, but this is the last one. Maintaining motivation. How ironic that I brought up Skillshare because there have been times in my life that it's hard for me to actually complete some courses on Skillshare or even complete projects on Skillshare. You know what I did to actually complete them? Make a list, go through the things that I need to go through first, and then complete it that way. With proper execution, with no distractions. Just letting me do my own thing. That is maintaining motivation right there. And that's a very hard part to do that. Here's one way to maintain it. Do what needs to be done and then move on to the next thing. Point number two of why it is hard to master it is managing loneliness. Ah, uh, we talked about it recently and how hard it is to be lonely. It's a hard life down there. Yeah, in all seriousness, being lonely is not an easy thing to do. In fact, it's one of the hardest things you could really do in life. Because the best way you can actually manage loneliness is knowing that you are not alone. Because there are a lot of people that are lonely too. So know that for certain, when you're in solitude, tell yourself you're not alone. That's the best coping mechanism you can really think of right now, is that you are not alone, you're just lonely. Point number three on why it's hard to master it is lack of self-awareness. If you're not aware of anything, then I need to do yourself, do yourself a favor. Develop some awareness and always be aware that there are people around you that may have similar things or have different things. Always have self-awareness and develop as soon as possible. Because I promise you, it will help you. Now let's get to my fourth point on why it's hard to master solitude is balancing social needs. I think we just talked about it in the next, the last few videos, but I do believe, like I said in the last few videos is that we're all humans. We all have needs and urges and urgency to get things done. All of us have, have those things and you know what? That's a very normal thing to have. Because if we don't have those things, guess what's going to happen? The social order will collapse. As we've seen with birth rates, marriage rates. What else am I thinking of? Relationship rates. Mostly in the West. But 
if you're lucky enough to actually be in a relationship with a spouse or a significant other, and you actually have very healthy solitude and healthy relationship, then I think you're in good company. And if, if it's not a nagging one, it's the one that actually cares about you, then congratulations, good for you. But it brings up a very relevant point. Fifth point is facing inner conflict. That to me is the hardest thing to master solitude. If you're able to get over yourself and face your inner conflict, like we are all gonna do, then that alone will master the entire art of solitude. If you face your inner conflict and you defeat that inner conflict one by one, you will win this battle. In conclusion, the art of solitude is not meant to take lightly. It is meant to take with practice, with daily solitude activity. If you are really willing to actually learn from the best of the best and actually be at peace with yourself and actually take the time to either nap, sleep, meditate, journal, reflect yourself and actually improve your connection in your brain and in your inner self, then I can say with 100% certainty, you have mastered the art of solitude. And that is it for this series. If you like this video and you wanna comment down below and like and share and subscribe to this channel and share the video with those that you care about, they go right ahead. That is it for this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great, great day.